what's up everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i created this super cute pink leopard print french poly gel pedicure this is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial from start to finish i've never done a pedicure on my channel this is my first video so bear with me i did my best it's usually really hard to film your toes um, but I'm actually going to be using this cuticle remover kit from Sabaland today. I figured I would use it on my feet because I don't do my feet as often as I do my nails. So I don't really have a lot of cuticle on my nails. But I do on my feet because, girl, it's been a while since I've done my feet. So I'm warning you. But like I said, I'm doing it from start to finish. So this is real life. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, this set comes with some cuticle nippers. And then you also get a little um cuticle remover this is another thing you can use to remove your cuticle i'm just going to use the nippers and this is a cuticle pusher and of course you get some little instructions that will show you how to use the product and this is a cuticle remover it softens the cuticles and makes it easier for them to remove we'll be using that when we're ready to like um, do the actual pedicure but yeah these are my toes don't talk ish about my toes i know they look a hot mess right now but that's why we're doing this video it's been like a couple weeks since i've done my nails but what better way to show you um so this is my old set you guys might have seen it on tiktok and instagram i still posted it even though i didn't have a tutorial um but yeah right now i'm removing this set normally i just file down my sets because um yeah nobody's got time to be soaking them off and everything like that i don't really do my feet as often like i said so um, this won't really damage my nails because I don't like file them down all the time. If you're doing this frequently, you might thin your natural nails out. But when I'm doing this, I use, um, a coarse grip bit. This is a ceramic drill bit and I'm taking it down. I kind of like alternate between the nails, um, so that I don't stay on one nail for too long and like cause the drill bit to heat up against my nail. So I kind of like switch back and forth between the nails until most of the product is filed down i try to get it down pretty low i'm removing like the fake nail tip and everything i usually use nail tips when i do my feet um so it takes quite a bit to get them off but eventually they'll come off and reveal my natural toenail um but like i said with this bit i try to get them down as much as possible if there is a little bit left no worries because I usually go in with a standing band and that removes the rest of it but like um, most of the bulk I get off with um, this bit on most of the little nails I get all of it off but usually on the big toe for some reason um, I have like a little bit left over but like I said the standing band will remove that um, you just want to make sure that you're extra careful not to like really dig into your nail while you're doing this and you might have to adjust the speed because once you get down closer to your natural nail you want to reduce the speed because it's going to be a little bit more sensitive if that makes sense um, but yeah as you can see i'm just removing most of the poly gel and i'm starting to reveal my natural toenails and don't judge me one of my natural toenails is broken but like I said, I'm going to be putting tips on them. So yeah, that's why we're here to make them cute. And sorry if the lighting and it's a little bit out of focus here and there because this is my first time filming my feet. So it is really hard because normally my head is literally right at my feet like when I'm doing my toes. But like for filming, I can't be that close. So I tried my best. You guys can still see what I'm doing. I did pretty good staying in frame. I mean, my toes are probably in an awkward position, but yeah, it is what it is. I have little sausage toes, but I don't think they're that ugly. I think they're pretty cute.
So now that I'm done taking off most of the bulk, I'm going to go ahead and dust my nails off to see how much more I need to take off. So what I'm going to do is use that cuticle pusher that came with the cuticle remover kit and push my cuticles back um, because I'm going to go in with my cuticle bit and remove like all that crust and everything. And then when I actually do my pedicure, that's when I'm going to use the cuticle remover to get the extra dead skin like off around um, the nails like on the outside because I get like a lot of dead skin like that but this is basically removing like all the rest of that poly gel off the nails so when I go in with my new set like everything looks nice and neat and there's no like old product on there and this will also help get some of that um, cuticle off the nail plate um, so yeah I'm using it on a low speed and just cleaning up around there and as you can see the nails are looking a lot more cleaner Now I'm going in with a 180 sanding band and I'm removing the rest of the poly gel off of my nails and you want to make sure you get all of it off so that you don't have old product on your nails. I think it looks really bad when you leave like old product on your nails. You want to do like a fresh new set so it looks nice and neat and everything like that. Um, especially because I'm going to be using a translucent kind of pink as the base on the nails so I don't want like any old product showing through that. It's not like super translucent but if you have product underneath you're going to see it if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah make sure you remove that and then after that I do take a hand file and just shape up my toenails um, just straight across and neaten them up a little bit. Then I'm going to go ahead and start gluing on my nail tips. So for these, I basically just use like my old nail tips that I really don't use anymore, like the shorter ones. Um, and I know that I'm using a white one on the big toe and the rest of them are going to be clear. In the clear size, I don't have a size zero, which is the size of my big toe. But after I um, file them down and everything and like buff over the surface of them, they all look white anyway, so it really doesn't matter um, and I did accidentally glue this one on Crooked by accident um, like I said it's really hard to see when you're not like right at your toes so I do end up like cutting that one off and just filing it off with a standing band and gluing another one on like the struggle is real if you've done your own toes before you know the struggle um, I'm actually using this glue from Sally's because my old glue got messed up um so i had to go get a new glue but this one actually works really good it like is really strong and it dries pretty quick but i like it because it adheres to the nail and like yeah i actually like it a lot i never tried it before but i picked it up one day really quick um and i know my toes look crazy with these long nail tips don't worry i'm gonna be cutting them down we're not gonna be having like dagger toes or anything like that
all right so i actually did cut the nail tips down with a nail clipper because i don't have a tip cutter i just cut them with a nail clipper um, but as you can see they're still a little bit long i don't really like them that long so i'm just taking my sanding band and i'm you know taking down a lot of the length with it i mean not too much just a little bit and then i'm gonna go in with my hand file because if you try to file them when they're a bit long and you try to go really short they have a tendency to break so you want to be careful and gentle and i do buff over the surface of the tips to blend them into my nail so you don't see that like harsh line with the nail tips and everything and then they all kind of look white anyway so you can't really tell that the tip is white and they actually do look like real toenails afterwards um so yeah i do that and then i go ahead and shape up the nails i just like hold my file at an angle and file up and down to get that square shape i really like that nice square toe shape i feel like it's really flattering on people i i'm not a fan of the round toe shape like back when i didn't really do my toenails um i just like shaped my regular nails square but i like the way it looks with the tips more now Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and start my pedicure. I'm gonna be using this Gina Petty Soak. It's a tea tree one and also this heel toe prep. This is like a callus softener, so it's gonna soften the bottom of your feet. So when you follow them, it comes like right off. Um, and this is a Savalian cuticle remover that I'm gonna apply like on to each of my cuticles on my toes and I forgot to take the little seal off so I had to go ahead and do that. So you just wanna apply a little bit of it and then massage it into your cuticles and then along the sides. And as you soak your feet, um, it will soften them and be easier to remove. The same with the other like callus thing. You wanna leave it on your um, feet for like about 30 seconds before you put them in the water and you wanna soak your feet for like 10 minutes so that they get really nice and soft. I like to apply my tips and everything beforehand so when I'm done with my pedicure, I could just go ahead and start my design and everything like that. So we're gonna soak for 10 minutes. And once I take my feet out of the water, I start by pushing my cuticles back again to make sure that they're really pushed back and everything like that. And then I use the other end of the cuticle pusher to clean underneath my nails. I didn't really have a lot of much of anything to clean out from under there i also clean along the sides because believe it or not stuff gets stuck on the sides of your toenails so you want to make sure you clean that too but yeah i didn't really have a lot um usually my real toenails are longer but the last time i did them um they were breaking a little bit so i cut them down really short but usually they're pretty long but when they're short there's really not much to clean under there but i do it anyway um you just want to clean the cuticle pusher off as you go um, and then after that, I'm going to go in with the cuticle nipper and start nipping around my cuticle area. And I underestimated how sharp these were because I accidentally took a little bit too much skin off on my pinky toe. It didn't bleed or anything, but it was a little bit red. So just be careful with that. Plus, it was really hard to like do this. I was like literally breaking my back trying to do this portion of the video but hey it is what it is i tried okay guys i really tried 
um, now I'm gonna go ahead and file up my toes so I usually get like a lot of dry spots on my heel like it gets a little bit rough down there and like right there where my big toe is like right underneath so I'm making sure to file off that but that um, callus softener really helps um, soften it so when you go ahead and file it comes right off um, and I also do file along like the side of my foot because it gets dry over there as well um, and like underneath my whole entire foot just a little bit um, it doesn't really get that dry there but I also do go along the sides of my toes and like across because they get really dry there as well um, so yeah you want to make sure you file it just really makes it look neat afterwards I learned this little trick when I was in nail school to file along the sides and I've been trying it ever since and my feet always come out really nice and smooth after that so I zoomed out so you guys could see a little bit better what I'm doing but yeah you want to make sure you feel underneath your feet um, and see if they're smooth when they're really smooth then you know you're done after I'm all done I dry my feet off and then I go in with some lotion I'm just using this one lotion from Bath and Body um, at first and I also have this one that I picked up from Ross it's like a cracked heel lotion um, and it doesn't smell like that pretty but um, it is really moisturizing so I put it on the bottom of my feet um, and on my ankles because that's where I get really dry so I really like to put that on because it really makes my feet nice and moisturized as you can see like dry ankles wear <laughs> nowhere um, I just found it randomly at Ross because I needed something like that would actually penetrate the skin the bath and body one it's okay but it won't last long this actually penetrates the skin and makes your feet nice and smooth Now that the pedicure portion is done, I went ahead and put on my little toe separators and I cleansed my nails with some isopropyl alcohol to get any oils off of the nail plate from the lotion. Um, you definitely want to do that so that you know none of your poly gel lips or anything like that. Now I'm going in with some Mia Secret Primer, two coats of that to prep my nails to help the product stick to my nails better. And then I'm gonna go in with a base gel um, since we're doing poly gel toes, so you want to go in with a base gel so that the product adheres to your nail. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and start applying the poly gel to the nails. So I'm using this nude pink shade from a cart called Bloom. I really like doing poly gel on my toes because it's so fast. Um, so yeah, you want to apply a little bead to your nails and basically just start around the cuticle and pat it in place all the way to the end. Make sure it's nice and smooth as you can get it, like even all around. And if you have a little bit of excess, you can remove it. And I kind of just pat... Um, right there at the tip of the nail to give it that square shape um, so it keeps that square shape so when I go file it um, it makes it easier to like have like a guide if that makes any sense and I am curing each nail so that I don't mess it up I have a tendency to mess up my toes because I'm clumsy um, so I just do like a little flash cure and I basically just do the same thing for every nail I am using some isopropyl alcohol as a slip solution
All right, so now that I'm done applying the poly gel to my toes, I'm gonna start filing them. So I did cleanse them with some isopropyl alcohol again to remove the tacky layer from the gel. And to file them, I actually just go in with a 180 sanding band and just smooth over the nails really quick. Um, I don't really go in with like a cuticle bit or anything like that to seal them because I could get pretty close to the cuticle area with this sanding band. Um, so yeah, you just want to make sure that they're not too thick because when you go to do the French, you don't want them to be super bulky looking, if you know what I mean. So I also do kind of pre-foul right underneath the toenail because sometimes it gets a little misshapen. And then I take my cuticle bit and I file right underneath all of the nails and this gives the nails that nice little curve right underneath and it cleans like out any excess debris that might be under there like any poly gel or anything like that or glue so it makes it just look a lot neater in the end it gives you like that little almost like a little C curve underneath um, I always do this um, and don't mind my feet like while I'm working my little beaded nail charm is pressing into my foot So it's causing little impressions in my foot now I'm going back in with my sanding band and I'm just kind of like shaping up the nails I'm looking at them from a different angle to make sure I didn't miss any lumps or anything I'm making sure they're all like even like kind of looking down the barrel of the nail That's why I have my foot turned this way because I couldn't really see that well Next, I'm going to take my hand file. I'm using a 100-180 grit, and I'm using this to go in and shape up the nails. Um, I'm doing a square shape. So I file along the sides a couple times, and then I just hold my file at an angle and file straight up and down, and it gives you a really nice, sharp, square shape. And then I buff over the nails to smooth them out. Moving on to the design, I'm gonna go ahead and start painting the French. So I'm using my detail brush to paint the French. This is the best way I like to do it because it's really easy for me. I'm using the color Electric Rose from Nail Reserve. I do have a discount code with them now if you're interested. I will leave it in the description box. Um, but yeah, I basically start off by kind of making a U shape, dragging the corners up and filling in the tip. 
and then I kind of just use my cleanup brush if I mess up I will be curing each nail because like I said I'm clumsy it's really super easy to do so I'm gonna go ahead and do this first I'm gonna do a full cure when I'm done before I go ahead and paint the leopard print To finish up, I'm going to go ahead and start painting the leopard print on all of the nails now. I'm also using another shade from Nail Reserve called Electric Pink and I'm going to be painting the leopard print spots. So for this, normally you would do like three half C shapes to do the leopard print but since we're doing it on toes, I'm only doing two like half C shapes and then some little dots in between to give it that leopard print look. It's really fine detail, so I recommend using the tip of your brush. It just makes it a lot easier. Um, and after I paint all of the leopard print spots, I actually do go in with a little bit of glitter on the inside of the spots. This color is from McCart, and it's from their Mermaid Gel Polish set. It's the pink one in 993. Um, and I just paint like in between the spots just to give them a little bit of sparkle. This was pretty hard because it was like such fine detail but it came out really cute in the end the only thing i would say is like after i top coated them and everything like that i did go back in and thicken up the spots just a little bit so you can see them better i didn't do it on camera but actually did it off camera because i thought of it after the fact i ended up making the spots on my other foot a little thicker so i just ended up evening them out and you could see them really good
And as you can see, I'm gonna get ready to start applying the glitter like in between the spots because it was looking a little too plain for me. So you just wanna take a little bit of that glitter gel polish and paint right in between the spots. Don't do too much to where it goes outside of it, just a little bit. It just did a little something, something for the nails. And after that, I'm gonna apply some Beatles rhinestone gel to the big toe and top coat that one and the rest of the toenails and apply some little pink pearls around the smile line on the big toe. I thought it just, you know, made the nails pop a little more and made them really cute and girly. But yeah, other than that, I like I said, I did actually go back in and thicken up the spots and re-top coat the nails and the pearls so that they don't fade. That is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think if you like the pedicure video. I will try to do them more often. If you want to see acrylic toes, I know how to do that too. So comment below if you want to see that. Um, and if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe before you leave because I post nail tutorials and reviews every week. So you don't want to miss out. Make sure you hit the bell so you get notified when I do upload a new video. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I'll see you guys in my next one.